Well, hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. I'm very excited for today's video because it is one that has been so highly requested. Today, we are talking about how to build muscle at home. If you are new to this channel, my name is Sarah. I'm a medical doctor and a fitness trainer. And on this channel, I share health and lifestyle videos to help you look after and love your body, your body, because health, it matters. Okay. Building muscle is so much fun. I personally love it. I love the challenge of it. I love having goals. I love the benefits because there are so many benefits that go beyond the aesthetic of building muscle mass. Building muscle is great for your health. It helps to reduce your risk of falls, of fractures, of osteoporosis. Increasing your amount of muscle mass can actually help to boost your basal metabolic rate and increase the amount of calories you burn while resting. Building muscle is not only a great way of maintaining a healthy body weight, but it can also help to keep your heart healthy and maintain a healthy blood pressure. And that is before we even touch on the mental health benefits of exercise, the regular endorphins and the improved mood. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased that you guys have asked for this video. It is something that I love doing for my own health and something that I always recommend. Now, given the current times, I know that a lot of people are working out from home and are looking at how to build and maintain muscle mass from the comfort of your own home. So that is what this video is all about. I'm going to intentionally keep this video very simple. While I could go into all of the complex science, I'm a big fan in keeping things simple because that allows us to actually apply it and get the benefits of the science. So this is going to be hopefully, famous last words, <laughs> this is going to hopefully be relatively brief considering how complex the topic could be. I'm gonna break it down into the simple things. Now, building muscle mass can depend on a number of different factors, like our age, our sex, our training background, and our genetics. So as we approach this, I really wanna encourage you not to compare yourself with anyone else. It doesn't matter what kind of other progress or gains or potential other people have. What we're looking at is how we can look after our own bodies as best we can. No matter what you're doing right now, you are living a lifestyle that affects your body in a certain way, and so this video is all about how to get that lifestyle to be more in line with your goals of building muscle mass. Short of having a serious medical condition that prevents you from building muscle altogether, no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, you can see progress. And that is what we're going to go into in this video. Building muscle has three different areas, training, nutrition, and rest. They are all incredibly important. You need to think about and focus on all of them so that they can work together to get you the results that you desire. We're going to start with with training. When it comes to building muscle, I love two types of training. Yes, two. Resistance training, which a lot of people focus on and they love, but also I personally love plyometric training. Okay, so starting off with resistance training. Resistance training is basically a way of working out that requires you to move, push, lift against a force. So it could be doing a push-up, so pushing the weight of your body. It could be lifting a dumbbell. Resistance training is a great way of basically stretching your muscle because that is what we're doing when we're trying to build muscle mass we want to stress them and literally cause micro tears so we break them down and then they build back up stronger when it comes to resistance training you basically want to be fatiguing that muscle group when it comes to resistance training at home it might be that the amount of resistance that you're able to add is less than you could add at the gym. So you might not have 30 kg dumbbells to be lifting in the comfort of your own home. And that is okay. And the reason that is okay is because when we remember the aim of the training, it is to exhaust the muscle group. So don't be afraid to increase the reps. You do not have to cap your reps at 12. If you've heard the magic number of eight to 12 reps, three to six sets, you actually do not need to do that. You can still see progress when doing more reps than this, as long as you are working against resistance and exhausting that muscle group. As I've kind of mentioned already, a great way of adding resistance is through body weight and weights. Now, body weight is something that we massively underestimate. It, oh, it low-key breaks my heart because sometimes when I see people saying that they can't make progress unless they're in the gym, I'm like, okay, so you can do one-handed clap press-ups and one-handed pull-ups then, I will assume, seeing as you have completely reached your maximum of body weight training. And most people haven't. Even if you have, you can still maintain um, your 
current fitness from home. I'm not talking about max reps or max strength. Of course you need uh, weights to do that. Is it ideal to have a load of weights and have a load of gym? Yes. However, you can still see progress using just your body. Your body is a weight in itself, okay? Gravity acts on our bodies too. And so by learning a load of different moves, you can utilize your body. You can isolate different muscles and different muscle groups in order to see results. I do, however, recommend investing. Investing in your health and investing in yourself. Home workout equipment doesn't go off. If you're looking to save money first, I recommend investing in resistance bands. They are such a good way of adding resistance to your workout, as it clearly says in the name of the item. I will put a link to the ones that I love and use on a daily basis in the description of this video. I do actually also recommend, especially given current times, investing in a set of dumbbells, okay? You can always sell them on if you no longer need them, but if right now you feel as though you need them, I do recommend just taking that hit, getting yourself a pair of dumbbells, an appropriate weight for you that you will be able to use regularly um, because it can really help to add variation to your workouts and it can be a fun way of mixing things up. The second form of training that I love when it comes to building muscle mass is plyometrics. I adore plyometrics. It is the sprinter in me, the sprint hurdler in me that just loves plyometrics. And I feel like they're kind of underrated because they actually can be quite difficult to do well. And if you can't do them well, there is a risk of injury. So I really recommend that if you're going to start plyometrics that you start slow and easy and you build up gradually, preferably with a reliable plan from a qualified trainer. So what is plyometric training? It is essentially explosive training. So it is producing a large amount of force in a very short time, okay? So it can be things like squat jumps, uh, bounds, single leg bounds, uh, clap push-ups. Plyometrics can be intense. So when you're doing plyometric exercises, I recommend that you don't do as many reps as with the resistance training. So doing three to six reps of really intentional explosive squat jumps can be enough. It is really important to make sure that you have good technique and form when you are doing plyometric exercise. Because of the intensity, because of the impact that it can have, it can take a while to build up tolerance for that impact within your joints, especially your knee joints if you're doing a lot of jump and bound work. So I do recommend that you combine the two, plyometrics and resistance training, to make sure that the muscles around the joints are really strong and that you have that control to move through the range of movement needed for a plyometric exercise with control, okay? So don't just rush into plyometric saying, yeah, 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 I'm gonna build muscle. Take it slowly. I cannot emphasize that enough. So when it comes to plyometrics, perform fewer reps and take more rest in between because they should be maximum effort and they should tire you. The reason I love plyometric exercises for building muscle mass is because they require us to recruit the fast twitch fibers. These are the large muscle fibers that can produce huge amounts of force in a short period of time. So doing the plyometric exercise causes recruitment of these muscle fibers and over time, we can build these and make them even stronger. When we look at training as a whole, a key principle when it comes to building muscle is progression. So gradually making the workouts more intense. Now, the reason this is so important comes back to, again, the way that we build muscle. So we have a muscle, we break it down, it builds back stronger. Each time the muscle builds back stronger, the workouts that we did on week one may no longer be enough to fatigue this muscle. So it is really important that you have a program that progresses and that gets more difficult or more challenging as you go along. There are a number of ways to make a program more challenging, to make a workout more challenging. That can be increased reps, increased resistance, reduce rest time, doing newer movements that are more difficult, that require more strength and more control. Um, but that is like a whole nother video that I could go on to. Whichever way you do it, you need to be gradually progressing your workouts as you get stronger in order to continue seeing progress. If you are currently looking for a plan to build muscle, then I highly recommend that you click the link in the description box to sign up for my brand new plan healthy at home. It is an eight week home workout plan that includes both plyometrics and resistance training in order to help you to build muscle and get stronger. Okay. So link in the description box, feel free to sign up there. You'll have the progression, you'll have the reps, you'll have everything. I won't even go into it in this video. You can click the link if you want more information on that plan. Next up, nutrition. Nutrition is so important. Basically you need to eat and you need to eat well. If you want to 
increase the amount of mass, the amount of muscle mass in your body, you need to be in a calorie surplus. So you need to be eating more calories than you burn off. So it is really important that you are feeding your body. In order to maintain the ability to build muscle, you need to be getting in all of your nutrients and vitamins. One food group that is really important for building muscle is protein. So you need to be eating enough protein. Lean meats like turkey, chicken, fish is a great source of protein. Eating nuts and beans and tofu, yogurt, milk, cheese, the list goes on. Whatever foods that you enjoy that are high protein, I recommend including them in your diet. It is not necessary to use protein supplements or protein shakes, but if you struggle to get enough protein in your diet, then yes, protein shakes uh, can be an easier, convenient way of getting those in, but it is definitely possible to eat enough protein through your meals. Um, check out all the different videos I have on this channel for how to do that. I do recommend trying to eat after a workout, so ideally, straight after a workout but if that's not possible don't worry the research is still ongoing in that um, but within two hours of a workout it's really good to get in enough carbohydrates and protein in order to help your muscles rebuild and repair as I mentioned the process of building muscle is that we break them down to build them back up if you want to build them back up stronger you need you need to feed your body okay okay so that's number two nutrition the third thing in how to build muscle is rest 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 oh my gosh so your body needs time it needs time to rebuild it can't just be go 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 all you're going to do is break it down and you're not going to allow enough time for it to rebuild so taking rest days is a really important part of any workout routine if your workout plan doesn't have any rest days uh-uh I do not recommend that. You, your body needs time to chill, to rest and to recover. Aside from rest days, sleep. Sleep is so crucial. Oh my goodness. Like sleep is so crucial for performance, for mental and physical health. So please, please make sure that you are getting in between seven to nine hours of sleep per night, at least minimum. Allowing your body time to rest and recover will let it build back stronger. Do not feel guilty about giving your body the rest it needs, especially when you're building muscle. I do also recommend investing in a foam roller. Foam rollers can be a great way of massaging out the muscle tissue, releasing any tight fascia and allowing the body to rest and recover. So to summarize this video for training, we should focus on resistance training and include some plyometrics. Make sure that you've got a plan that builds and continues to challenge you over time as you get stronger. That is a key point. Then with nutrition, feed your body. You should be in a slight calorie excess to build muscle. You need carbohydrates, you need protein, you need a full balanced diet in order to allow your body to do the complex functions that it needs to build muscle and then rest your body needs time it needs sleep in order to do the pretty difficult thing that you've asked of it okay so I hope that you found this video helpful I know it's a bit of a whiz through but I really just wanted to break down the more complex topics and make them more easy and applicable let me know any other videos that you want to see in the comments and I will get around to filming them for you I'm trying to upload a bit more often and I hope that you're enjoying it definitely share this channel with a friend if you're finding it helpful subscribe for more videos and give this video a big thumbs up join me on instagram twitter and facebook and if you want to definitely sign up for my new home workout plan it's an eight week plan it is amazing we've got a great community of people working through it right now at the moment um, and the link is in the description box of this video either way i can't wait to see you soon in my next video I love you so much i will see you soon bye <laughs>